In this video, we're going to take a look at our next orbital parameter, which is the RAN. That's how we usually pronounce it, and most people refer to it as that. It is technically the right ascension of the ascending node. Now, that's a mouthful, but we're going to show you more or less what this does. Okay, once again, this one is in degrees, and what we can do is let's go from 0 degrees to 90 degrees. Well, that definitely made a change, but I don't know exactly what it did. Here's what I'm going to do to help emphasize this. I'm going to bump us up to a nearly polar orbit. I'm going to take our inclination to 80 degrees. So that allows me to show you very closely what the RAN actually does. Now, the inclination I had mentioned before allows you to change kind of the north-south of your orbit. The RAN, for our purposes, let's take it from 90 to, I don't know, 93 degrees. I'm going to click Apply. Watch what happens to our orbit. It moved a little bit to the right or to the east. Oh, okay, so our RAN is actually how we can kind of spin our orbit, twist it around the pole effectively. In short, what it does is it moves your, your orbit east or west. Now, that's not guaranteed because remember, as soon as I click play, well, the Earth starts spinning underneath it. So while for our purposes, it does move your orbit kind of east or west, depending on what you go. So I could move it to the east by increasing the degrees, or I could move it to the west by decreasing the degrees. Let's go 85 instead. Now we can see it moved back to the west. Now, that's how you could imagine it for your ground track that changes where your lines are that'll move them east or west, and it will kind of do the same thing for your orbit here. But remember, it's not like the inclination where you could just kind of say what number and it would match up with it because the Earth is spinning underneath, so east and west are going to kind of change. But your RAN, when you shift that, if you increase the degrees, it kind of shifts your orbit a little bit to the east, and if you decrease the degrees, it'll shift it a little to the west. So you could use that to try and get it to line up a little bit better with targets that you've got. That's a basic rundown of how the RAN shows up and how to use it.